So I, I never get tired of sharing the good news with people and I, I never get tired of hearing good news either. And as Ravens fans, we, especially after last year, good news is something that it, it had been hard to come by, especially when you think about 2021 and just how a lot of the news that Ravens received, it was all kinds of bad. Week after week, after week, after week, after week, after week. And y'all remember. But anyway, um, a few days ago, uh, it was said that Devin Williams, they put him on the reserve, did not report list. And this is why I always tell people you cannot just jump to conclusions when it comes to this stuff. Um, I said in that video, like, and I, cause I saw people on Twitter saying, I saw people in the comment section, oh, saying, talking about, oh, what a wasted opportunity. Oh, man, why would he just quit like this? Oh, man, he messed up big time. Oh, man, what a shame. He ain't living up to the potential. Oh, man. And it's like, really, man? Really? We, like I said, we do not know and did not know what was going on with him. We did not know what his situation was. We didn't know on a personal level anything that he could have possibly been dealing with. But the fact that people, they saw the report he, th that said he didn't report. Oh, man. Yeah. He, and it's, no. This is why we got to be patient with stuff. We got to be patient. Like even with, um, with uh, I remember the reports about Michael Pierce. Where he didn't show up to the, uh, the mini camp or whatever it was. Um, and I myself, I was thinking like. From I remember from John Harbaugh, his the way that he said Michael Pierce wasn't showing up, I was thinking, uh oh, that mm, the way Harbaugh said it, it didn't sound like it was anything too good. But then later on, Raven said he was dealing with personal stuff, so it's just one of the. A lot of times we just gotta wait and see, we just gotta wait and see for stuff. But anyway, the good news, uh, Jeff Zrebic reported it today um, that the Ravens have reinstated undrafted free agent wide receiver Devin Williams from the reserve did not report list and he is back back on a 90 man roster so look at that just what two two three days later and he's back already that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about and this is why we we just and it can be hard like I I understand I'm not um Saying, oh, anybody that's jumping to conclusions that I never jumped to conclusion myself. No, I'd be jumping to conclusion myself sometimes too. But we all, including myself, we just got to try to be more patient uh, when it comes to certain things. Uh, we got to try to be more patient when it comes to some information. Uh, because in this day and age, of course, with social media, the digital age, we used to that instant gratification. We want it and we want it now. But it can't always be like that. Now, I know something that a lot of people brought to my attention, and I, I, I did not put two and two together. Because um, we talked about in the initial report where it said that he, um, where, where he was getting put on the reserve, did not report list. I was thinking, man. Because um, I know that throughout his collegiate career, he dealt with a lot. He dealt with a whole lot of off the field stuff with his family, with his mom, with just a lot. He dealt with so much. And if you're dealing with a lot of that stuff throughout college, once you get to the NFL, it doesn't just disappear. It's not like, all right, I'm in the pros now. All right, all my problems gone. No, because you still got to deal with life outside of your job. So I was thinking maybe he was dealing with something like that. But a lot of people brought to my attention Spencer Webb, uh, the player from Oregon, who I think about maybe a week, a week and a half ago, he passed. So they were like, oh, maybe he was dealing with that. And I was like, ah, didn't even think about that. Because that certainly could be something that will play a part and could play a role in just really throwing, throwing somebody off uh, big time. So... um yeah, man, hopefully with, with Devin, uh, everything's cleared up now. Hopefully he'll be good to go. Hopefully he'll uh, just go out there and do his thing now. And hopefully uh, for him, really for everybody, even though it's, it's hard to say it because 
again, they are football players. Yes, but they are human beings. Yes. And they are human beings before they put on any jersey from any team. So I, I was going to say, hopefully now, everybody, every Raven player that set, that set the facility and whatnot, getting ready for training camp, hopefully now they don't have any distractions. But I do know, um, I mean, speaking from experience, we all have experience as human beings, even though we have jobs to do, we have work that we need to take care of, we, and we would hope that there wouldn't be any distractions, but that's part of life. Stuff comes up, stuff happens, it's just life. Uh, but it's, it's nice to see that he uh, is officially back. Uh, so good for him. So um, hopefully this is a, uh, a long road ahead for him uh, when it comes to just his career in general. Um, he is at a very pivotal point for the Baltimore Ravens, uh, especially given their current situation at the wide receiver position. And I know some people are tired of talking about it. Y'all know I'm not. I, I talk about it all day, every day. Um, respectfully, though, of course, because different people got different opinions on the whole wide receiver situation. But he is at such a pivotal point uh, of the Baltimore Ravens, just their franchise, when it comes to the wide receiver position. Because, again, they haven't signed any veterans. They haven't signed any veterans yet. None. And they're riding with, for now... The only guys that they drafted and then undrafted rookie free agents. And that's it. That's all they got right now. Those are the guys that are on their squad. Those are the guys that are on their team. And it's like, oh, okay. It, are are y'all going to roll with that? And if so, then he has a big opportunity here. Because they have four guys that are essential locks. We pretty much figure that those guys are locks. Rashad Bateman, James Prochet, Devin DuVernay, Tylen Wallace. Those guys are locks. But... There's at least one more receiver spot up for grabs, maybe two, but definitely one. So, Devin Williams, Makai Polk, Slade Bolden, Shamar Bridges, Benjamin Victor. Benjamin Victor. I, said, I think I said Benjamin. I was about to say Benjamin Victor. Benjamin Victor. It's a big opportunity, man. Huge opportunity. And this this season is just so huge because a lot of people have their doubts about the Ravens and their receiver unit, including myself. Y'all know that. And and it's not even necessarily. <coughs> well, I guess for me, it's not necessarily even doubt. It's just just that unknown part. It's just the unknown. It's like, I, I, I don't know. Now, y'all know me, I would, I would much rather, especially Lamar at this point of his career, even though it should have been happening years ago, but mm, at this point in his career, I'm like, I just, I would, me personally, I would rather him go into such a pivotal season, a crucial season. He is in a contract year. Put him in the best position to have the best success. That's, that's one of the biggest reasons why I want them to, to go out and get a proven guy. Put him in the best position to have the best success. Yeah, I know they got Mark Andrews and he's like that. I know that. Mark Andrews is a tight end though. I just, I want life to be made easier for the Ravens offense. I, I want them to have more diversity. I want them to have more just create, not even necessarily, well, creativity, but not even necessarily creativity, but just options. More options. Oh, that number one corner's taking on Rashad Bateman? Oh, he, man, he's been locking him up all game. Oof. Oh, man, they, they doubling Mark Andrews? Oh, man, who else is it going to be? Not saying the other guys can't do it, but I would rather somebody who's been doing it and who is like that. And the other guys will still get their chances, too. They still get their opportunities, too. Because Ravens, they're they going to be spreading that thing out more. Or hopefully. But I don't know, man. We're going to see. But, um, again, this is it's such a, a big year for Lamar Jackson. It's a, a big year for Greg Roman. 
And I, hey, I want Greg Roman to have all the success in the world because that would mean that the Ravens' offense is having all the success in the world. So I, I want him to do a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. T. Martin and Keith Williams. This will be their second year. So they'll be a little more comfortable with the team, a little more comfortable with the squad, a little more comfortable with the receivers. And we're going to see. We're going to see if their impact continues. Because it's, it's already started. We, saw it, we clearly saw it last year. The impact was definitely there. But now, can they take it to that next level? Can they get the guys that the Ravens have to take it to that next level? That's what we're waiting on to see. That's what we're hoping to see. Because, again, I, I said this before. By no means am I rooting against the guys that the Ravens have. No, not at all. I want them to go out there and kill it. Whoever's out there for the Ravens, I want them to go out there and kill it. Hey, if Ravens get a receiver, somebody before the season starts, okay, cool. Uh, well, depending on who it is, okay, cool. Maybe not, but depending on who it is. And if they don't get a receiver, all right, well, let's roll. Let's see what we got. Let's hope for the best. Shoot for the stars. But yeah, man, I'm um it's just a it's, it's a very exciting season, but it's a very pivotal season too. It's a very crunch time season. And, and this season, um, so much is going to change after this season. And things could go really good, things could go really bad. It can go either way, but there will be a lot of change after this season. Because so many people are in crunch time. So many people on the Baltimore Ravens. Personnel, play it well, players are personnel. But coaching staff, so many people are in crunch time for the Baltimore Ravens. So we're going to see uh, who ends up showing up and who doesn't. And who doesn't. Hopefully everybody shows up, though, because that, that would be great. And that would mean that the Ravens had a lot of success. A whole lot of success. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And shout out to Good News. We out.